Now all the numbers starting to settle down. Three and three with a 4.33 earned run average for Mr. Hamill. Why? He's got a very long swing with his bat, so that allows him to do just what he did right there. I mean, and, and it, if it's a ball that's elevated above the knee area, he'll hit it into the air to loft it to that side. If it's a ball down in the strike zone, then he usually tops it or just very little of it. Maybe somebody uh, jumped in Johan's uniform today. Swung on and missed. Punch through the right side of the infield for a base hit. Ichiro is going to get the third base. There goes the runner. Ionetta is going to throw through. They make the tag safe. When it came up halfway through, what Barmas had to do on that play was get in front of the bag because if they're running a double spiel or steal to respect the speed of Ichiro. Well, the fact, too, Lopez has hit into 13 ground, you know, double play balls, too. Put the runner in motion, stay out of the double play, maybe get a a run out of it. This ball's hit the center field. Fowler is going to pull it in. Each roll scored easily. The throw's going to go in the direction of third to keep Beltre at second. One nothing Mariners. Not with two home runs and 19 RBIs. And Junior Tardy, they have picked up. Beltre is going to get to third base prior to last night. And it's pulled to second. Easy play for Barnes. In the inning, Seattle created a run. Came around on a sack fly by Jose Lopez. Vargas has faced the Rockies before, but not with a lot of success. He has an ERA like a bowling average against Colorado. Leading things off at the bottom of the first against left-hander Jason Vargas. Deep short. Benton court sets his feet. Long throw, and the scoop is made by Russell Branyan. Trying to steal a few signs here for the viewers at home. See where they're trying to work it. As for the slider, going to try and throw it on that back foot. And that didn't work out. He left it out over the plate. Barrel to left for a hit. So Clint Barmas is aboard with one out for Todd Help. Not somebody that likes to work to the middle half of the plate a lot or middle half back. Nice fly ball out to left field. Junior, no chance. How about that catch by Belter? Man, oh man. That's how you win gold gloves. So Todd Help. Fouls out to Adrian Beltre. That is a third long base. way to go, George, for a third base. This ball is in the air to center field. Gutierrez makes the catch, and it is a successful first inning for Vargas. He gave up the base hit to Clint Barnes. That's it. One nothing Mariners. Believing they could do what they can do, and believing they can win ball games late in games and picking each other up. It's been fun to watch. But this this is home yard. You don't want to carry an eight and a half ERA. No, you don't want to. Here's going to be a line drive out of the reach of Tula Whiskey into the gap in the left field. Go ahead, stretch it to two. Yeah, no, no, don't no. think so. He Trying to entice him a little bit. He couldn't hear me yell go go go, so maybe they could snatch him. The thing here, George, is he remembers he wears shin guards for a living. <laughs> There's only a couple of those guys that can run that do wear those shin guards. And Gutierrez lifts it to center field. Dexter has a beat on it. Two outs. There are parks that relinquish runs at a high level that are not named Coors Field. Well, here's the thing. Let's look at home runs around baseball. Which ballparks give up the most home runs? Single to left and scored a run in the first, and he's gone here. Good block by Ionetta. He's going to have to step back and throw to first to prove you wrong. Here's the 3-2 fastball, and it's ripped to right center field. Ichiro trying to get there. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. Brad's got himself a double, and just for a moment, he thought about a triple. And he realized, you know what? Two bags is safe right here. Chulowitzki's not going to hit 243. This ball pulled in the hole, base hit. Brad around third will get a stop sign from Richie Dower. First and third, nobody out with Tulowitzki coming up. Tulowitzki against his former college teammate. And this ball is lifted to right field. Ichiro settling yeah. under it. Now he's coming in, and Hop's going to come down the line. Ichiro's throw is on line, cut off, throw to second. Safe there. You know, I'm, sure, I'm not sure why Brandon cut that ball off. That didn't make a lot of sense to me because it looked like it was right on line to the plate and a strong throw by Ichiro and Wright. I'm, I'm not sure. And you get noise in a big league ballpark. Your catcher is the direction guy when he's talking about cut or let it go through. 
Rip to left, but it's going to hang up for Junior. Got it, maybe George, a little toward the end of the bat. Ground ball to first. They'll have to wait. Rockies get a run. Brad Hopp a leadoff double. Troy Tulowitzki plated him with a sack fly to right. One apiece. We'll go to the third. On the ground to first. Todd Helton's got velvet hands, and he makes the play. One gone. So what was the question you want to pop on Drew and I? Um, who are the better pitchers in the minor league for the Rockies? Well, you know what? There's a bunch of them. The Rockies have had some pretty good drafts. I think the one guy that jumps out at me is a kid named Miss Mill Rogers. that's had five out of six very good starts. Well, that's been a big emphasis uh, in the minor leagues, not to walk guys. Make them beat you with the ball. Put the ball in play. If you give up a hit, you give up a hit. Uh, and I think those are the, the type of things you're looking for. It's too quick an inning. It was, yeah. wasn't it? Very well, good. you got your question out. I uh, hope the mic and answered it for you, but uh, we enjoyed having you up here in the booth. Hope you enjoyed the ball game today. Sure did. Thank All you. All right. Thanks, That's Brendan Parker and his dad, John. Guys, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank Make you. it 11 in a row. 1-1 one, one game. Back in a moment. Park in Denver. 10.30 in the morning next uh, Saturday. And Sunday. As Fowler gets dismissed. And then he got injured. And he said that injuries over there are a little bit different than here in America. And what he did was... He had an, this ball's it. hammered. Hold on, Mark. Yeah. Short hops the wall. Barmer's going to have himself a double. Go ahead. I want to hear the rest of this. Yeah, this is a good story. He, he was reluctant to talk about the injury he had, and he injured his thumb. He was a left-handed hitter. Three, four. He could keep flashing twos. We'll go on camera here. Just this is a bullet up the middle. base hit. Barmer's around third. He'll score easily. Rockies have a two-to-one lead. 17 coming through again. And he gives me the pitch I'm going to throw. This ball pulled the left base hit for Atkins. Helton is second. Brad behind 0 and 2, 2 on, 1 out. Rockies up 2 to 1. And Hop is a strikeout victim after doubling his first time. So there are two outs, and that'll bring up Spillboards. And Vargas able to strike out Hop and Spillboards with two runners on. Call him the kid. Well, see you uh, later. Yeah, uh, That's a yellow hammer. <laughs> it's something they've really never had before. The guys that pitch on the back end, easy play for Tulowitzki. Hamill, De La Rosa. As Drew mentioned it, but most four and five starters are going to be in the 150 to 170 range because they're the guys that get passed over on starts when there's off days. They're guys that fill in in the bullpen when they're not doing the start. But right now, Mr. Hamill's throwing like a number one. It's two to one Rockies. Three and a half through it. Today after the Rockies game, uh, it's always exciting. A little soft tapper going to be barehanded by Bell. Got it. It's the top 50s game. He's going to be in that top 50s game right after this Rockies game. In the air to Ichiro. Chris Ionetto will be the second out of the inning. The guys that are losing, it's how many shoes they got to tie. There's a first for Hamill. That's his first hit of the year. He's got himself a double. He's got more hits out that close, than anybody. That close that down clo that conversation. Yeah, yeah huh? that's right. And Kenny Boyer was in our dugout as a manager. So, you know, obviously he's gotten a few hits in his career. Ball four. And Clint Barmas will come up. Two outs, two out. Barmas. And he got him with a fastball. Living in Oklahoma, I'm kind of used to that. That was like an everyday occurrence. But with a lot of other people, uh, it, can, it can alarm you at times. And I, and I think probably here, obviously, the fans, uh, some of those have started to move out of the stadium with the sprinkles coming, plus the tornado watch. On the ground, a second. Two outs. Let's get it down to Mark Scott with today's great Colorado payback sideline report. Hitting in the American League compared to the National League for pitchers. He said, you know what? In the AL, we might have took a few swings a month leading up to interleague as Ichiro has one up the middle. He said, it's nothing like here in the National League. And, George, maybe you can talk about that. He said they did hardly anything in spring training in the American League when he was with the Rays. But he, he had one at bat with Tampa Bay and had a hit. And now that's his first hit as a rock. Yeah, I think his name was Randy. Yeah. Center field deep. Fowler going back. Still going back. And he makes the catch. 
by Dexter Fowler to keep the Rockies in the lead. That's a base hit for Todd. Lopez couldn't get there. Todd's two for three. Out of the pitcher's hand. Sometimes you get the slump and, and, and you can't identify early. Well, you hear me say this an awful lot, and it goes back, folks, to the times I spent with everybody. That's a problem. Lopez not going to get out of it, and it gets away from Bragging. Helton's going to go to third. First and third, nobody out. Brad reaches for one and drives it to Griffey in deep left field. Jimmy's not going to get there. It hits off the wall, stays in play. Atkins stops at third. Helton scores on a double by Brad Hopp. And it's 3-1 to one, Colorado. This ball line to Lopez, who is kind of playing halfway. Yeah, you know, Ionetta has a couple of grand slams on his resume. He'd love to add to that list. Allow you to walk in a run. Absolutely, and I think that's why he does drive the ball when you do get it into the strike zone. Like that. That's a gapper. It could score everybody. The trail run is Chulowitzki. He'll come home easily. Base is clearing double for Ayamata. Make it six to one, Colorado. Two and two on Hamill. And he gets it in play. Good read by Ayamata. You don't want to cross in front. Hamill retired. And that'll bring up Dexter Fowler. That's what he used to do uh, growing up. This ball's tater to center field. Way back in the air. He's going to have to field it on the short half. Ionetta has scored. Fowler in the second. Another Colorado Rockies double. It is seven to one. Tacos for everybody tomorrow. Ground ball toward Lopez. And he throws out his second base counterpart. In the inning, nine come to bat, five come around and touch home plate. Chris Ionetta, three run double, seven one Rockies. You know, they had some big bats when he was in L.A., including Sean Green, who was a 40-plus home run guy. And when you'd ask guys around the batting cage, he went around. Well, and that's why Adrian's pointing so quick down to the first baseline, saying, once you get some help on it, and Gary Darling said, you know what, I don't need any help. And guess what, boys? Somebody just got a phone call. I'm sure in Jim Tracy's mind, with a six-run lead, this ball up the middle to Lewitsky with range, and he gets Lopez. Got just enough on the baseball to throw out Lopez. Great range displayed to his left by Troy Tulowitzki. Well, and, and again, this is a guy we've watched go glove side. We've seen him go into the go, into the hole to make plays here. He's just off balance throw and exchange. Kind of air mailed it over to Helton, but because of the speed of Lopez and the quickness of the arm, you're able to get him. They've been running around looking for a glove, George. Yeah, he and Fogg were uh, teammates over in Cincinnati. Junior got moved on. And it'll be a two-out walk to King Griffey Jr. In the National League. This is on the ground toward Garrett Atkins. He'll go the short way, and the Rockies will head to the dugout and try to pad that six-run lead. And a walk to help. And a double base hit for Garrett. So you know what? That swing's coming back, George. Well, the average now is setting at 200 prior to that at bat. The guy's getting some pitches to hit, responding with uh, some pretty hard hit balls. This third one today, one of those in infield. The other line drive much to, like this one on the Hyundai camp. Rock back, good set, good extension. Everything balanced at the plate. Head stayed on the baseball from your leaders. And the Dodgers uh, are still playing good baseball. They lead 6-3 to three in the ninth in Texas. This ball is hit the second. And Betancourt completes the double play, help the third. ERA among all American League teams entering play today. 368. To third, Beltre. George, he thought about doing a 360, and he said, nah, you know what, I'll just plant, open up, and throw him out. 7-1, Colorado. Last and on base percentage. Another broken bat. What a costly AB for Kiros. He's gone. Like, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know how to explain my feelings. It was, it was really sad. I mean, I pitched myself. In my mind, I probably hurt there. And that's something that... that Good crowds all weekend long. More than 30,000 each day.
This is in the air right center field. Dexter calling for it. And he'll make the catch. One, two, three inning for Josh Fogg in the seventh. This call to the pen brought to you by Comcast Digital Home Phone Service. Warm up to unlimited local and long distance. On the ground to third. Call 1-800-COMCAST. Well, Batista, the former starter of the Arizona Diamondbacks, a guy that has good slider, good sink. Lionetta got a hanging hook there, and he popped it up. Jose Lopez makes the catch. Two outs. With his bullpen, everybody's designed spots of when you're going to come in, not afraid to use certain guys, certain situation. Quintanilla will pop it up to the shortstop, Benport. The Rockies lead this one seven to one. This ball is hit to deep right center field and at the track in front of the wall. Hop pulls it in. He allowed 45 hits. His ERA was 460. High in the air to right field. Hop waiting for it. He makes the catch. Tulowitzki will call off Quintanilla, and it's a 1 2 3 inning for Allen Embry in the eighth. All is well. The Rockies up 7 to 1. She, this ball is on one hop to Lopez. And he throws out Dexter Fowler. One out. That'll bring up Clint Barmas. Uh, I one doubt out, it. One out, one out, out. Eight, yeah. yeah. Probably well, the, not. But Pretty good bullpen coach right there that you can see John Wetland, the guy that was a, a very good closer for the New York Yankees uh, prior to Mariano Rivera. Yeah. Took a, a real back seat. He wanted a better baseball atmosphere. And this will be another base hit for Todd. So he transferred to Rice. Pitcher spot is due up next after Garrett Atkins came out of the ball game in a double switch last inning. So the Rockies will go to their bench and it'll be Seth Smith. Or a year at the school, maybe a red shirt year. They're going to the junior colleges. This or they're going over as fly ball to left field. To get to the handle. Or they're going down to Division Two, so their talent is rising at that Division Two and uh, NAI level. Peralta, George, has been a very pleasant surprise for the Rockies. That's a base hit to right. Well, he has been because he pounds the strike zone. A guy that's kind of bounced around with two or three organizations, back and forth between the big leagues, minor leagues. Looks exactly like Dad. He has obviously has Dad's athletic ability. This ball high in the air to right field. Hop. Is going to run in the wall and make the catch. Well done by Brown. Just have your next building or service project done right the first time. Line drive. Let it hit. And that's a double play. That's your ball game. The Rockies have won 11 straight, matching their franchise best, setting that magical September of 2007. 11 straight wins for the Rockies. It started in Houston, Texas. They swept four from the Central Division leading Cardinals, then went to the Central Division leading Milwaukee Brewers. George swept them, and then home to a team that came in playing very good baseball. Winners of 9 of 13, and they sweep the Mariners. And Hamill goes to 4-0 during this sweep of what you're talking about through the basis of winning baseball games.